Poland. We're here at a and EDM Limited, and you recently changed over your coolant to Rocol. Why was this? We had three fundamental issues. One was we had some operators complaining about irritating skin, the smell, and also uh, the tool life seemed to be diminishing. So why did you go for Rocol then? Uh, our engineer came in, done some sump tests, took them off to the laboratory, came back, uh, gave us a report, uh, recommended the Evo Cut Evo uh, 255, um, and obviously we've done some trials, and then from there then we put it throughout the business. So in a moment we'll talk about how easy it was to change over, but what is so good about the Ultra Cut Evo 255 then? Once we got the product in the machines, we had no, no complaints about uh, skin irritation, the smells, as you can tell, there it's is great. none. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then also we noticed the tool life improved. So I can only put that down to the, e, the, the EP additive, uh, which is in the, in the suds, um, which then gave us a significant tooling saving as well. The Rocco product is really good because when I get home I don't really smell anymore, whereas beforehand our product before kind of lingered around and it just wasn't very nice to bring that home. Um, it, it's also very good when I'm cutting different types of material and um, the science behind the coolant is kind of making it easier for my cutters to last longer and it doesn't really fog up the screen so I can see my jobs when I'm actually cutting them instead of kind of waiting until the end to see if I've, my product is right, right really. So what cost savings then have you made because that's ultimately of course you've got your problems, but that's where you want to save your money as well. So where have you saved here? We had an overall look at this and we used to, we used to purchase about 10 IBCs a year. We're now down to five. Wow. And we sort of think we're around about £17,000 a year less spend on coolant. But it's not just the spend on coolant that you're measuring here as well, is it? No, we also noticed a significant drop in uh, our purchase of tooling, uh, which we can only put down to the... the the project itself, with the EP prep additives, allowing the cutters to, to last longer. Wow, and what about the waste management side of it all? Again, with this cut, when the suds used to keep turning, we have to drain all the suds out, and we have to then dispose of it under our, four, uh, our 14 phase and one or environmental, is we no longer get rid of 10, 15,000 litres a year of suds which has perished due to smell. And, and I know the whole process was really, really easy to change over, but before we get to that, what about the service that you've received from Rocol? Now, initially, when we were doing the changeover, they were in every day. They were monitoring, checking. What they've done now, they've spread that out now to once a month. So they come around, do all the checks, do all, do all the reports, do all the laboratory testing. Uh, again, if you have a problem, they're a phone call away. They can drop down on the afternoon or the following day. So, perfect. And how does it work? How does how do you supply Rocol to all of your machines? Because you've got a vast machine shop here. We had our maintenance engineer fitting the IBC, but what we've done, we've piped it into every machine. So we have one source, and once we a better word, a load of hose pipes which feed to every machine. So we now get no spillage on the floor. We're not trying to carry the, uh, the tanks around. All in all, it's perfect. Any other benefits to using Rocol? We found the uh, tool life is significantly improved. And we can only say that by we've had a 40% reduction wow. in our spend. That's huge. Also, we've also, uh, the, the, the operators have, have had no noticeable effects on the hands where they were getting skin irritation before. And again, looking at inside the machines, they're cleaner. And we can only put that down to the coolant, not congealing, sticking to the walls. And finally, be honest with me, how easy was the changeover to Rocol? To us, simple. They'd done all the lab work in the background. They came in, they found the product was compatible to what we'd only was using, so it was able to mix. We didn't need to empty the sumps, they just added it to what was already there. And over a period of time, we are now fully Evo 255 compliant. So to conclude then, how has Rocol benefited your business? We've had approximately a 40% reduction in tool spend uh, on heavy roughing operations. We used to buy 10 IBCs a year, we now buy five. I think that's 17,000 a year. Uh, the operators have no skin irritation. The sumps are clean, the air smells nice. Uh, the inside of the machines are spotless. 
all in all, a, a massive cost saving for us. Well, I, I can't say any more than that.